Since then, um, let's see, um, as soon as I left here, I went to New York and uh, started uh, meeting with agents and I worked with uh, um, a group called the Hudson Valley Shakespeare Festival and they do teaching in, in the local schools. So I was a teaching artist and I would go into the schools and kind of like try to uh, bring Shakespeare to life in the, in the public school system, which I love. I love the program because it's, uh, we take an unorthodox approach to how we deliver Shakespeare to, to the kids and we try to get them active in it. So that was something uh, that I started to do when I went to New York and then I wound up uh, working for the company in their summer Shakespeare uh, doing uh, The Bombardier of Errors which is a hip hop opera based off of Comedy of Errors and I did um, uh, Troilus and Cressida and I played Hector. They also did Taming of the Shrew but I wasn't in that. Okay. And then I came right back here for Holes. I think uh, there are a lot of things um, in the story of Holes that I, that I gravitate to. Uh, there are a lot, there's a lot of themes that kind of go throughout the play that I really, really enjoy. Uh, but I think the thing that I'm enjoying right now um, is, is basically the, the flashbacks and kind of looking at your past uh, as an individual, or my past really, just me uh, looking at the story, being in the story, reading the novel. I'm, I, it makes me think about my ancestors uh, more, where I come from, and, and where I draw my strength from. So that's the thing that I'm focusing on right now that's really, uh, really touching me in a certain way. But it's different every week. That's the thing I love about the play and I love about the book, that it's like there, there are so many little things that kind of pop up and whatever you grab, gravitate to or hold on to or something that means that's important to you, it kind of helps you start to think about that. And I think that's why, why the novel is so great.